I'm 24 years old. I'm currently the world champion, the WBA title I hold. There comes a time in the sport where you think, just before walking out in the ring, you think, what am I doing in this sport? Oh man, I'm so scared, I'm so nervous. I don't want to lose. And, but then, what, in the back of your mind, you know you've done all the training, but the nerves always are there. It's not about getting hurt. I never fear getting hurt. I always fear losing a fight and losing my uh, pride. This is Ring Life, Amir King Kong. On December 11, 2010, Amir Khan was in the fight of his life. I was fighting Marcos Madonna. We all knew he was tough. From the first round till the ninth round, everything was going well. What a body shot by Khan! Till the tenth round came. Marcos Madonna has 27 knockouts and 30 fights. Okay, he lost that round, so what? You win some, you lose some. But the thing is, overall, you saw his performance, and um, he performed really well. After that fight, I think I have gained a lot of respect from a lot of people in America, around the world. That's what we wanted to do. I'm originally from England. I'm a British Pakistani. I love boxing. I've been doing it since I was eight. My dad took me to a boxing club, which wasn't too far from the house. First season, he had six fights. He won the first three fights and lost the next three fights. People might think losing can dishearten you, but it never disheartened me. It made me train harder. Boxing give me a lot of discipline, you know, that's what we need. I think now there are a lot of young kids out there, they don't have respect for their parents, they don't have respect for the elders. And that's the reason I opened the gym. I get up to 600 kids from here a week. These are young kids who have so much energy, they want to burn it somewhere. But how do they burn it? Because they have nothing to do, no activities. That's 600 kids off the streets a week. Keep moving that head. No, hit and don't get hit. I like giving back a lot because I know boxers do so much for me. That's again. These young kids have uh, a great future, you know, they have a bright future. If they stick to the dream. For the pride of Bolton, giving back to the community that has nurtured him is all part of a day's work. Today, that means a public speaking appearance at a local elementary school. Welcome to St. Matthew's. Thank you. Why do you think Amir might have come in this morning to see us? I'm looking for my next opponent. Right. Oh! I was once young and it would have been amazing if a role model for me who come to my school and spoke to us. And now you to look at yourself in the mirror, can you see yourself? <laughs> now if I could do anything for the community, be a great role model, I'm happy with that. I'm a practicing Muslim. I've been to do my pilgrimage twice. I know in boxing, sometimes when you're in a ring, it's a lonely place, but you know my religion keeps me strong. My faith keeps me going. It's given me so much discipline and strength going into a fight. It teaches me to respect elders and respect my parents. As a proud Muslim and unofficial spokesman for British Pakistanis, Amir's old school recipe for success is simple, hard work, faith, and family. Well, Amir is he's very close to his family, his brothers, sisters. I'm a mum's boy. I think I'm spoiled by my mum. Like after the fight, she was like, oh, eat this, eat that. Do you need anything? I live an easy life at home. I have a very easy life. I'm proud of what, he, what he's achieved, what he, his looks are. Obviously, Tex looks after me, obviously, you know. <laughs> for a guy who gets punched for a living, I'm not that bad looking then, really. You get a lot of women who, who chase you and you go a bit mad. But, you know, I don't blame them. <laughs> Beneath the surface, Amir Khan is more than a pretty face with tremendous hand speed. Every time he steps into the ring, this young champion has the hopes and dreams of his country and his religion riding on his shoulders. I want to become one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. And to do that is to beat the best fighters in the world. I'm thinking of maybe retiring around 28, because end of the day, you know, I want to look after my family. He sets these goals and he works very hard and he does achieve them. And I think that's why he's where he is today. When you go to his fights, you see all different colours, ethnics, all different religions come to his fights. So Amir Khan is uniting the country. It's funny how my life's changed in the last few years because, you know, from a normal person, you know, being a superstar around the world and being known all around the world, it's, it's amazing in a way. It just shows that, you know, working hard and being dedicated to your sport pays off. <laughs> 